friends, I'm Ashley and welcome to Ash's Cozy Corner. They farm, of course, has farming. However, the farming aspect has a little bit more to it than I thought it would. You have the basic farming, then you add in a little special seasonal farming, sprinkle on a different realm with new fey farming, and then add on some propagation and it can get a little confusing. This guide is for all things farming, so grab a snack and get ready to learn all things about fey farm farming. Heads up, there are no crazy spoilers, but I do talk about a few things that aren't available until later on in the game. We'll start off with all things basic farming. Unlike other farm sims, you actually have to craft basic garden beds to plant crops. The materials to craft the basic bed are silt, sand, and beach logs. The sand is found on the beach, and the silt and beach logs can be found right on your farm. You can have as many beds or as few beds as you would like, and you can place them anywhere on your farm. Next is deciding what to plant. In Fay Farm, you'll start out with three different basic crops to plant, but as your farming level goes up, you'll get up to six basic crops, which are turnips, cauliflowers, beans, potatoes, corn, and peppers. You can purchase these from Holly in the town center of Azoria. All of the six basic crops are available to plant year round. However, at the end of the season, they will all wilt no matter what. Take them back and click on your basic garden bed with seeds in your inventory and hold the button and run around the garden bed to plant them quickly. One of my favorite additions to Fay Farm is that the plants don't grow by days, they grow by watering. So each time you water a plant, it will show it growing if it's in a stage where it grows, which I think is so fun and cute. Make sure you water them every single day unless it is raining. The only other step is fertilizer. There are three fertilizers in Fay Farm, Zippy, Bounteous, and Magic Crop Swap Fertilizer. Zippy speeds up the harvest time by one day. Bounteous gives your plant a chance at growing additional crops per plant, and Magic Crop Swap gives the chance to transform the crop into a seasonal or Fay variety. Personally, I find the best use for fertilizers to be as follows. Zippy for single harvest crops like turnips, Bounteous for multiple harvest crops like beans, and Magic Crop Swap for all of them when you're trying to get new crops. Fertilizer can be really expensive if you buy it, so make sure to build a garden bench and put it near your garden. You can make all three types of fertilizer, and each time you make it, it will give you 10 fertilizer of the type you craft. The fertilizers are super easy to find the ingredients for, so I recommend recommend never buying it, only crafting it. You can also use the garden bitch to turn crops into seeds. For each one crop, you will get three seeds, so this can help with seed costs and make way more profit over time. After taking care of your crops for a few days, planting, watering, and fertilizing, they should be ready to harvest. After admiring the beautiful bounty you grew, you can now harvest them and use them for cooking, to make more seeds, or to sell. Pro tip, once you get the Vortex magic ability, use it to harvest your crops all at once. It's such a time saver. Last basic tip, not only does harvesting count towards your farming level, but digging does too. So while you're out digging for soil for your garden beds, you're also raising your farm level. Now that we've got the basics out of the way, let's talk about the fey crops. Later in the story, you'll unlock the fey realm, and a little bit later on, you'll unlock your home at fey acres. You can grow special crops from the base crops here called fey crops. To grow fey crops, you'll need to make fey soil garden beds, which do tend to be a little harder to get the materials for. You'll need one shade jelly, one flutterwood log, and one sprig and leaf for each bed. After making the fey soil beds, which you can also use on your other farms, you can plant whatever you choose from the six base crops, use magic crop swap fertilizer on them, and check to see if they change. You can see if they change to fey crops by hovering over the plant and seeing what pops up above it. There is one special fey crop per base crop, so six fey crops total, including frost beets, flame hearts, magic beans, azure spuds, candy corn, and crystal pepper. These special crops keep the same growing schedule as the base crop, so for example, a turnip turned into a frost beet will still only take four days to grow. Then we have seasonal crops. For these, each base crop will have a special seasonal crop that can grow for each season. For example, a turnip can turn into a radish in spring, a carrot in summer, a beet in autumn, and a fennel in winter. You can grow these earlier in game by planting the seeds in a basic garden bed and using magic crop swap fertilizer on them in the correct season of the one you're trying to get and hope the fertilizer changes as it is a chance. It does not always change the crop. However, later in game, 
you can get four new seasonal garden beds, which means when you plant the seeds in them, no matter what season it is, you will get that seasonal crop. For example, Placing a turnip seed in a winter garden bed during spring in game will in turn end up with a winter special crop, a fennel. For all of this, you're of course going to have to use a watering can to water your crops. You will slowly upgrade this throughout the game with the iron watering can allowing you to finally use magic and with every upgrade to gold, making the magic even better, covering more and more crops with water in a single use. One cool way I found to water crops will be using a sadness potion. You can craft these with a potion brewing station using two frog sweat and two bug juice and it will create a rain cloud that follows you around which is so handy when you have a huge farm plot to water. With all the farming information out of the way, let's get started with fruit trees and propagation. When the game starts, you'll be able to buy four tree seeds total from Willow in the town center. Apple, peach, pear, and plum. Fruit tree saplings can be planted on your farm and you do not have to water them. To plant them, you'll have to go into the building catalog to place it. I highly recommend buying two of each tree as early as possible as they only cost 450 for each sapling and plant them ASAP. This way you can have fully grown trees for propagating earlier in the game. There are six special fruit trees that you can propagate in Fay Farm. Persimmon, cherry, apricot, pomegranate, orange, and grapefruit. If you've watched my other guide videos, I'm sure you have heard me say keep all worker bees and queen bees. This is why. You need propagation hives to make the fruit trees. To make a propagation hive, you'll need 10 stone, 2 oak logs, and 1 queen bee. After making the propagation hive, you'll have to have a steady supply of worker bees in order for it to work, so hopefully you have a hefty stack of worker bees laying around. To start propagating, you can just use one hive in the middle with two trees that have have fruit on them within the range of the hive. Make sure there is room for the new saplings to start growing and again make sure the fully grown fruit trees have fruit. Fill the hives with bees and it will use one bee per day so remember to put an extra bee in every single day. There is a chance for a sapling or saplings to grow every few days after fixing this layout. You can also use additional hives in the middle for a higher chance of more saplings. With this setup you will start making new fruit trees. Sometimes it will just give you a basic fruit sapling, but keep trying with different combos of trees to get all of the different varieties of fruit trees available in Fay Farm. If you find yourself running out of bees, I found an amazing bee trick on Discord written by Potato Charlie. I'll be sure to link that down below, but I'll also pop up the photo here. As you can see, you need to lay down fencing and 18 hives. Once that is down, walk through the setup to the middle, use a small or medium bee potion, and wait until the potion effect has ended to collect the bees. This is honestly so smart and I cannot believe how creative and amazing people can be. If you're in need of bees, definitely try out this bee trick. I did leave out one garden bed from this video, the flower garden bed, but that was on purpose. The flower breeding guide will be a separate video, so if you're needing help with flower breeding, definitely check that guide out. If you have any questions at all about farming after watching this video, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to help out and answer in any way I can. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a cozy day and God bless.